Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how fast is too fast and what actually qualifies as a normal time for sex. Both young boys and young girls frequently think that a sexual encounter should last for a long time. Men think that in order to satisfy their lover, they need to have a large penis that can last for a long period. And everyone believes that when the penis enters the vagina, it's immediate pleasure and fireworks for everyone. Contrary to what TV and porn would have us believe, sex does not have to last all night in order for it to be valid and satisfying. So there is a debate between what is desirable versus what is normal. While there is no magic number, one study back in 2015 in the Journal of Sexual Medicine asked sex therapists for their opinions on how long sex should last. They rated penetrative vaginal sex that lasted from one to two minutes as too short and sex that lasted between 10 to 30 minutes as too long. Meanwhile, adequate sex lasted around three to seven minutes and desirable sex lasted seven to 13 minutes. According to other studies, a significant proportion of men and women who replied preferred sex to last at least 30 minutes. What a man or woman sees, reads and hears in the media typically determines how they see their own and their partner's sexual conduct. Unfortunately, misconceptions about the need for a big penis, extremely strong erections and all-nighter sexual activity have been perpetuated by today's popular culture and media. Due to various definitions of sex, it's also challenging to determine the appropriate length. So some individuals, for instance, only count penetrative sex um, which is highly a restricted definition of sex. When the definition of sex was broadened to include foreplay, most people said that around five to 10 minutes of intercourse and around 10 to 15 minutes for foreplay. So what was the outcome for the ideal length of time? Intercourse should last between seven and 15 minutes at the most. Most people thought that less than two minutes wasn't long enough and anything lasting longer than between 10 to 30 minutes was too lengthy. Sex should always be enjoyable regardless of duration. Some people like a drawn out sensual encounter while others prefer a fast um, sexual encounter. Watching the clock is much less crucial than having satisfying sex. There is a notion of the default state and it's believed by some that coming quickly is actually a human default state. When humans first started having sex way back when it was cool to live in a cave, there were many predators who would happily eat a couple having sex. With this in mind, it made sense that a couple should have sex and should come very quickly. That way, the saber-toothed tiger wouldn't be having them for lunch. So, according to a recent Twitter poll asking, do you ever get bored during penetrative sex and want it just to be over already? There was 82% of the 819 participants that said yes. Unfortunately, sometimes biology also plays a role. In some cases, underlying biological factors may affect the duration of your sexual experience. This can include things such as age. So you might observe that as you get older, it is more difficult to develop or sustain erections and it takes longer to become aroused. Hormonal changes that may impair sexual activity could result from a lower libido or from vaginal dryness. Genitalia. So your genital structure or shape may also be important. In 2003, there was a study which scientists found 
that the ridge around the head of the penis in particular may have evolved to be more competitive. Any sperm that was already present in the vagina can be removed by the ridge, thrusting that in a deeper and more forceful action results in more semen being displaced. In doing so, the spouse is ejaculating and increasing the likelihood of getting pregnant by clearing space for their own sperm. This may help to explain why some users find it challenging to continue thrusting after ejaculation um, and continued thrusting may result in the displacement of your own sperm, decreasing your ability to become pregnant. Other issues can include sexual dysfunction. So in some cases, sexual dysfunction can impact how long you last. These can include things such as erectile dysfunction and ED happens when a man has trouble getting or keeping an erection, which can affect how long sex lasts. Performance anxiety. This is when negative feelings about your sexuality cause you to worry that you won't satisfy your sexual partner. It can lead to erection dysfunction or premature ejaculation or avoidance of sex altogether. Premature ejaculation or ejaculation that occurs before either partner desires affects between 30 to 40% of men at some point in their lives. Premature ejaculation is the most common type of sexual dysfunction in men and premature ejaculation affects one in every five men aged between 18 to 59. There is also delayed ejaculation, which is the need for an extended period of sexual stimulation to reach climax. So here are some tips if you are looking for shorter sex. So if sex is going on longer than you want, tell your partner. When something about your sex life is less than ideal, talking it out is always a smart place to start. Um, but I am aware that this is simpler to speak about than to actually do. By articulating your desires to your spouse, you can both better grasp what it takes to orgasm each other. Ask your partner what you really want. You can then apply what you've learned um, and use this to progress towards your goals. You can tell or demonstrate to them your triggers. So you can either inform your partner how to excite you in a way that you particularly enjoy or you can touch yourself in ways that help you to climax and demonstrate this to your partner. Here is where sex toys can also serve as a very useful visual help. If you would like shorter sex then try your favourite position as an orgasmic moment. You can then exist in this particular sexual position or method that tends to get you there quick enough. In the event that you experience um, last longer than you want, trying your favourite sexual position can be a good method to end things with everyone feeling satisfied. Embrace yourself. So, for example, with masturbation, if you're pressed for time, a good technique to guarantee that you obtain a orgasm is to masturbate and you are the expert of your own body after all. Involving your partner in mutual masturbation is also another option. This enables a climax for you both while maintaining intimacy while keeping the length of sex shorter. So on the flip side here are some tips on how you can prolong sex. So if they are done on purpose then quickies can be fun. If you're ejaculating too fast or too soon to satisfy yourself or your partner, there are several methods that you can use and practice to attempt to keep sex longer. So method one is the squeezing approach. Start having sex and keep going until you're almost ready to ejaculate. Once that is done, ask your partner to squeeze the tip of your penis where the head, the glands meet the shaft. Maintain the squeeze for a few seconds and any urges will diminish. This can be repeated numerous times within a single session. The second method is the stop-start method, also known as edging. 
the stop start method is something that you can practice with a partner or as you masturbate when you're masturbating and feel like you're about to come pause until the urge to orgasm passes then resume stimulating yourself over time you'll learn to recognize when you're approaching the point of no return and this will enable you to extend any intercourse other options include kegel and pelvic floor exercises so kegels or pelvic floor exercises aid in building the pelvic floor muscles that regulate ejaculation or orgasms so things such as stopping urinating in the middle of one being at the toilet will allow you to locate where about your pelvic floor muscles are kegel exercises involve contracting the pelvic floor muscles for three seconds holding the contraction for three seconds and then relaxing for three seconds and simply repeating this process over and over there is also things out there such as numbing condoms or creams and some types of condoms contain a bit of numbing medication on the inside and this can reduce sensation which may make you last longer there are also creams available which can have the same or similar effect if despite all your efforts you're still not getting there in time talk to your doctor or a sex therapist about your concerns so how can hypnotherapy help with making sex last longer or shorter the subconscious mind is a super powerful part of the brain that looks after our automatic processes breathing maintaining bodily processes walking so for couples who are worried about sexual issues hypnosis can make the process automatic by using conscious exercises and subconscious techniques via hypnosis this powerful part of the brain can be brought on side so in conclusion how long can sex last it depends on many factors including personal expectations and consenting wants consult a sex therapist or sexual freedom practitioner if you're very concerned about how long you're able to engage in sexual activity they can listen to you talk about how you're feeling respond to your inquiries and access any areas of your sex at life and activity that may benefit from hypnotherapy. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I will leave the link to my website in the description box below and also the link to my consultation page. Have a great day and speak soon, bye.